Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I know we all thought we'd be outside by now, but we are not. And we are still having those Zoom virtual meetings. So I figured I'd come through with a tutorial to help you get together quickly and cost effectively. We're only using drugstore products. This is a really easy routine that's gonna help you look great in your web meetings. I mean, look, there's a preview of how it looks at the end. So let's just get right into it. We're going to start with the Milani Prime Shield and this is going to give a nice base for the foundation. This is a decent primer. It's not my absolute favorite, but um, as far as drugstore products go, it's really good and it's affordable. So it's a good thing to have in your collection, especially when you don't want to use your prestige products. Now we're going to go in with the Juvia's Place Foundation Stick and this is really great to use when you're doing makeup for a virtual appearance because it's pretty mess free. You don't have to pump it onto anything because it's a stick foundation and it has decent coverage. You don't need to cover everything unless you have a super HD webcam and you're going to be really close to that camera. Otherwise, just evening out your complexion should be enough. I like to swipe this on the areas where I need the most coverage or like the most coverage and then go ahead and buff it out with a foundation brush. When I'm blending this out, I like to start with tapping it in first. So I'm just going to go in and press all of this product into my skin that's also warming it up a bit and allowing it to be more blendable. I find that when I do it this way and then I start blending, it's just easier to work with. So once I've got it all tapped in, I'm just gonna go ahead and in swirling motions, just buff it into my skin. And Juvia's products I found are really nice quality especially for the price point. So if you're someone who doesn't wear makeup all that often and you just want something that is gonna work when you need it to, I would give their products a try. You can see after blending that out, there are still some areas where I have some hyperpigmentation and some texture that are still showing through, but that's okay. My complexion is generally the same color and that's what we're going for. We're gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro concealer and this is one of my favorite drugstore concealers it's only I think it's like four dollars maybe I'm using the shade toffee and typically I'd use a shade a little lighter if I want to highlight but I don't want a dramatic effect with this so we're only gonna apply it under the eye and we're gonna blend it out with our finger to get more sheer coverage tapping it in with my finger just directly in that under eye area. And this is gonna help brighten that under eye area and make you look more awake and vibrant without overdoing it. I'm just gonna lightly smooth it outward just so that it blends into that foundation so that we don't have a line there. You are probably gonna get some creasing, but that is okay. It's not gonna be anything that's gonna be really noticeable on camera. So before I put some powder on, we're gonna go ahead and do a cream blush, and then we're just gonna powder everything at one time. I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade Tahiti, and if you saw my review, this is my least favorite shade of this blush. However, I am gonna use it because we are gonna lay it on a little thick, to bring some brightness and color to the face. So I don't want to use a color that's too pigmented because it'll be a little overdone. I'm going to apply it in this temple area. This looks extreme, but when we blend it out, it's going to look okay. Now I like to use a cream blush because if you're in a rush and you use too much, because you're putting powder on top, it's not going to be a complete disaster. Like you can powder it down and fix it versus if you've done your foundation, concealer, everything, and then you put your blush on and use too much, it's done. Like the, It's very hard to save it. So this is kind of mistake proof. You can see I'm just tapping it around just to put the color where I want it. And as we've blended it out, it's bringing color, but it's not overdone. We're going to go in with the Juvia's Place Powder in Gobi to set the foundation. This is a loose powder, so I'm just going to use a fluffy brush and just tap and swirl it on. And like I said, when we were applying the blush, 
You can see that by putting the powder on top, it does take down the intensity, but you can still see the color there. For the concealer, I'm using the Juvia's Place powder in the shade Kalahari. It's a lighter, more like, almost like a banana kind of shade. And before we set it, I'm just going to take my finger through and just smooth out any creasing that has occurred. And by now, the concealer is a bit more tacky. So it's going to stay in place a little better. And I'm just going to tap that powder on top of the concealer. And once it's tapped on, I'm just going to use some sweeping motions just to pick up any excess and blend it in. I'm going to take a spoolie through my brows just to remove any excess product that is in there. And for the eyes and eyebrows, we're going to be using two of the e.l.f. Bite Size palettes. So the first one is Carnival Candy, and we're only going to use the brown in here just to give a little color to the brows. These palettes are only $3 each, so they are very budget friendly. And I'm just going in with an eyeliner brush and just sweeping some of that powder through the brow. And if your brows are really sparse, then you may wanna spend some more time. But if you've got a good bit there, you can just kind of brush this powder through. We're gonna keep things very simple on the eyes. So I'm just gonna take my finger and we're using this e.l.f. palette in jalapeno, hot jalapeno. I grab the gold and I'm just gonna press it onto my lid. I'm not even using primer or anything because again, we're making this quick. And if you're just kind of throwing this together, just to hop on the computer really quickly, then you don't need to worry about primer. Like you're not going anywhere. So there's nothing really to prime for. <laughs> I really only did foundation primer because it helps the foundation kind of slide and glide a little more than when you apply it on bare skin. Once you've got some nice coverage on the lid, just clean off your finger and go ahead and blend it up towards your brow bone just to add a little sparkle throughout that whole area. We're also going to use the gold in this palette as the highlight. So I've just picked it up again with my finger and I'm just going to tap it along the high point of my cheek. You can see like we've got a good highlight there. And again, once you've got it to where you like it, just go ahead and take a bare finger and just blend it in. And depending on how you like things, if you want to add a little extra color to your cheeks, you can go back in with the Carnival Candy Palette and use this red. I'm using a little tiny, like, you know, those travel size brushes so I can pick it up and you can just apply a little more blush. See here, there's more and here it's kind of more subdued. So it really just depends on how you prefer things. Since I did one cheek, I'm going to go ahead and do the other. To finish off the eyes, I'm going in with the Ulta Beauty New Heights Mascara and I'm going to do a really light layer on the top lashes and a light layer on the bottom as well. If you have long lashes, you can just like be on about your merry way and be basically done. But if you're like me and your lashes are in Struggle City, I'm going to go in with the Ardell Wispy Lash. This is a pretty easy lash to apply because it does have a nice thin band and it's pretty dramatic. Like you'll be able to see it on camera, but it's not overdone. Usually I'd add a bit of setting spray, but I mean, why waste it? We're not going anywhere. We're just going to zoom. So we are going to completely skip the setting spray and just go to the lip. And for the lip, you just want to make sure that you have something that's going to show up. So whether it's a nice bright color in a matte formula or a glossy sheer color, you just want something that's going to bring your mouth to life. So for that, I'm going to go in with the Catrice Cosmetics Star Glaze in dazzling star boy it's a really pretty color and a nice glossy formula that's going to look good on camera so depending on what your meeting is for and what you do you may want to go for something a little more subdued you may want to go for something a little more vibrant of course the lip is up to you but everything else 
is together. So I'm gonna actually record a little bit on the computer so you can see how this looks, you know, on a computer camera, and I'll be right back. So this is how everything looks. You can see, you know, there's some brightness there, there's some alive and awakeness, and this is, you know, super easy to put together. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you found it helpful. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I have a new video every single Tuesday and Friday and hit that notification bell so you can be first to know when there is a new video and I'll see you next time. Bye.